Thank you for joining us for our series through the liturgical year. Sundown of Holy Saturday marks the beginning of the most important celebration of the liturgical year, the Easter Vigil. This vigil is not simply the preparation for Easter, but the true celebration and feast of Easter itself, when we commemorate in a very special way our Lord's Passover and Resurrection, the redemption of all humankind. St. Augustine called this feast the mother of all vigils reflecting its place as the most honored liturgy in the Catholic faith. Why is it so important that we celebrate the Easter Vigil so late in the night? As you know, a vigil is a time of waiting. We keep vigil, we are attentive, we are vigilant. The Easter feast represents the great triumph of light over darkness. By celebrating the liturgy in the darkest hours before sunrise, this spiritual reality is reflected with even greater intensity. This also connects the vigil to the Jewish feast of Passover. Just as God freed the people of Israel from their bondage in Egypt, in Christ's resurrection, God has freed us from the bondage of sin and led us into the promised land of eternal life. St. Jerome wrote in this regard, it was a tradition among the Jews that the Messiah would come during the night, at the hour when the Passover had been celebrated in Egypt. That, I think, is why we have the tradition from the Apostles that the congregation is not to be dismissed before midnight during the Easter Vigil, since they await the coming of Christ at that hour. While many Easter vigils today may not go precisely until midnight, we continue to honor this feast in the late evening for this very same reason. There are many liturgical customs that are unique to the Easter vigil. Some go back to the medieval period, but some go all the way back to the earliest liturgies of the church. We have, of course, the blessing of the Easter fire, the blessing of the baptismal waters, and the welcoming of new members into our church through the celebration of baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist. The many readings and litanies of this vigil reflect the entire story of our Christian faith. From God's creation of the world, to the covenants God established with the ancient people of Israel, to the promised Messiah who finally came into the world as Jesus Christ, Son of the one true God. This vigil expresses the fullness of our faith and reveals to us, more than any other celebration of the liturgical year, the greatest gift God has given to us, His Son who opens the way to eternal life. I'm Father Ed Ayer, and thank you for joining us for our series through the liturgical year.